Hello and welcome. You join me a little bit later in the day, uh, as far as my last video on this instrument goes, in my quest to try and learn a completely new instrument. Oops. Um, so this is a piano accordion that I uh, inherited from my grandfather and I didn't know anything about it and I'm trying to learn it. So let me just share with you a few things about what I've learnt. For starters, there is this big button on the side here. That does something I don't know what. I think it turns off these registration buttons and that sort of cancels them. I think that's what that's for. There's also a knob here which opens and closes these things. Um, that allows more sound in and out. Um, and as for the buttons on this side, they are in rows of six uh, on this particular instrument. The, uh, there is one button here that's got a dimple in it, and you use that to sort of find where you're starting. It takes me a while to try and find it by touch. And that's on the second row down, and that is your C. And if you make a sound with this, it plays a C. <laughs> Now the button immediately above that, on these sort of slanting rows, plays a third above that, so that's an E. And then if you, so you've got the E, which is the third of the chord, you've got the bass note of the chord, then you've got a major chord, a minor chord, a seventh chord, and then a diminished seventh chord. So that's what your six buttons do. So I've just find, try and find my C again, so you've got C. And that's the second row of second row of buttons in that particular column. Then you've got the major chord, minor chord, seventh, and then diminished seventh. And you've got that for um, ugh, this thing's stuck. There is another button which will make you close the bellows without having to make a sound. Um, so there's lots of different rows, that's what each row, uh, each column does, rows, columns, I'm getting all confused, and they go up in fifths. So if I find where my C is, should only take a couple of minutes, there it is. The next, uh, the next row is a G, and then a D, and then an A, and then an E, and so it goes up in fifths. Um, and the reason for doing that is because um, that's how they're made. It's about as good as I can do. So um, that's about what I know about the instrument so far. Um, trying to play something is, is a little bit more of a challenge. So what I've done is download, uh, printed out, bought a um, piano accordion tutor book. Very, very old fashioned book. Um, it's not in print anymore, so I had to stalk, I had to go down to the library of Google and find this in, um, in readable <coughs> PDF format for me to print a uh, buy. And um, I've learned a few things from it, such as um, things that I can't remember. But it's got a bunch of exercises for me to be able to learn stuff through and... Um, just do some practice. So what I'll do is to finish this video off uh, and to prevent me from rambling too much is I will play some of the things that, oh well, I'll attempt to play some of the things that I have learned in the first few pages of the book that I've got. Um, so I can already play the piano so this part isn't too difficult other than the fact that I can't actually see what I'm doing and um, the keys are, aren't as wide as normal piano keys, so where I can normally stretch my hand, um, you know, from a C to an F, I'm, I can find I can stretch my hand from a C to an A on this, on this um, size keyboard. So I've got, um, trying to get used to that is one thing, um, but this stuff over here is all completely new. So where I'm at right now is that I can play some basic melodies. I'm training my hands to find the right place without looking. Um, so this one is called America. I know it as God Save the Queen. And then on the other side, what um, it's got me practicing is just um, some umpas or umchugs. So what we've got are things like this. Um, so 
so I can do that all right. When I have to move too much, it's it's a bit of a problem. It's actually really useful because you start on the the tonic or C, and then the row below that is the fourth or the F, and then the row above the tonic is your fifth or the G. So you don't actually have to move your fingers very far to get to where they need to be. So I guess that's why the why it's all stacked up in fifths uh, as you go through it. Um, these buttons are very close together and it's a bit weird but I'm going to get better, I'm hopefully going to get more used to that as, as things go, goes by. Um, I've, I've looked forward to a, a few, few extra pages and they want you to then start doing some things that I am going to struggle with where they want you doing the um chugs and the bom 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 ba and trying to do individual scales like that is very challenging because you then have to think okay I've got the home row which has got all the tonics and then you've got the the, the next row above that which has got or column or whatever you want to call it that's got the thirds um, and so you try to combine all of that and so you start with Yeah, something like that, and you can then go ba dum bum bum, and then continue on with your arm chugs. Yeah. Yeah. I need a lot of practice. <laughs>